The rookie group XN are having quite an exciting comeback. Even though they're a rookie group, they've gotten attention for the way they have uplifted other idols and groups in their pre-released song My Idol. And let's be honest, who doesn't love seeing idols support each other, especially since this is something that we don't witness often. The group is set to make a comeback on February 25th with the second mini-album The Real, and we're in for a treat with some fantastic songs and performances. What's even better is that their new mini-album tells the personal stories of the members, from their trainee days right up to their debut. You. With No Doubt serving as a title track, we'll get to see the members flaunt their charms in various genres throughout the album. And we're actually very happy to let you know that XN members themselves have a message for you here on Kooky Lit. Ready, XN! Hello, we're XN! And we're here on Kooky Lit! We're having our comeback on 25th of February with our second mini album, The Real, and title track, No Doubt. The song starts with an atmosphere which reminds you of the 70s sound, and as the song progresses, you will hear strong beats accompanied with a powerful choreo. So please give it a listen and show us lots of love and support. Bye bye! bye. Speaking of X-In, the group was unknowingly and unnecessarily dragged into some messy drama, and it just proves that sometimes fans go too far. You might be familiar with the K-pop group Black Swan. Some recognize them for their great songs, while others are familiar with their frequent changes in the lineup. Either way, they're unfortunately not strangers to controversy, but the most recent drama unfolded because of one of the members' fathers. As we mentioned before, X-In recently released the song My Idol, in which they uplifted their influences and fellow peers in the industry. The song got some unnecessary hate, as every song does, and a Twitter user posted, Respect, 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 glad Black Swan always delivers quality, referring to the respect line in XN's song. The tweet could be interpreted as innocent if it weren't for the cringe gif attached to it. However, due to a language barrier, Gabi's father thought that the tweet was praising his daughter's group and retweeted it, not being aware that the user was also dragging X in. Because of this, Twitter users bashed Gabi and her father relentlessly asking them to apologize, with some even attacking them for their nationality. Gabi's father had to make a tweet explaining everything, saying that the fans had brought the issue to his attention as he wrote, I understood it to be just a message of support for Black Swan, which asked for respect and mentioned the quality of their music. I recognize the efforts of all K-pop groups and I know how important everyone's support is. The hate didn't stop though, with some going as far as to wish harm upon Gabi's father. Seeing all the harassment that her and her family were receiving, Gabi deactivated her Twitter account to protect everyone's peace. After doing so, she posted a story on her Instagram urging others to be kinder, which broke the fans' hearts. She and her father had done nothing wrong and explained that it all had been a misunderstanding, yet they were receiving hate and threats from all directions, to the point that they had to apologize and deactivate their accounts. Thankfully, fans have been supportive and loving all the way through, and we hope that Gabby is seeing all the love she's getting. Now let's move to Blackpink and the new updates about the members. Back in January, it was reported that Jisoo had teamed up with her brother's company to set up her own agency. Blissu, which is the name of the agency was said to be the entertainment subsidiary of Biomom Inc., which is a health functional food brand for infants and toddlers owned by Jisoo's brother. At the time, the company put up a job ad with Jisoo's picture while searching for new staff, adding fuel to the speculation, but nothing was confirmed back then. A representative of Biomom even said, It's complicated to define the company's relationship with Blissu. I don't know the CEO's family relationship either. But even though we didn't get any official word on whether the company was set up and if they would handle Jisoo's solo activity, fans considered the report to be true, and they were right. On February 21st, the official website for the company was launched, saying that Blissu was a special gift box for Jisoo's absolute happiness. Through her solo activities under her own label, Jisoo expressed that she wanted to share joy and happiness with her fans through different roles and charms. According to the website, Blissu is all about Jisoo's commitment to creating happiness, encouraging creativity, and celebrating uniqueness. Inspired by Jisoo's love for art and connection, the label wants to uplift people through music, merch, merchandise, and other initiatives. The website also showed some never-previously-seen gorgeous pictures of Jisoo, and fans got so excited that the words Blissu by Jisoo trended on Twitter. However, the fans' excitement was short-lived as all the social media accounts for the company were deactivated and the website was taken down. It's thought that the reason this happened is because someone accidentally launched everything before Jisoo could confirm it. She made it official on announcing Blissu's launch on Instagram with a post captioned, Transcending the boundaries of genres and fields, our mission 
mission is to share the happiness that Jisoo creates in her own unique way. The accounts were also reactivated, as was the website, with Jisoo even changing her own profile picture on YouTube, Instagram, and Weibo. In a message to fans, she also told fans to look forward to her future activities and to support her as well as Blackpink, which was really heartwarming. Even though the members are all doing their own thing now, it seems like they still want to perform alongside each other, and it's amazing. Now, all we need is for Rose to confirm the launch of her agency as well, just as it has been rumored, and then we can look forward to their activities as soloists and as a group. Now, let's discuss the rumored strained relationship between IU and Lee Hyo Ri. A post was made on Nate Pan with a netizen discussing how suspicious it is that the two haven't interacted in a while. They shot Hyo Ri's homestay a few years ago and were close for about two to three years, but they didn't talk much afterward. Not to mention that they don't even follow each other on Instagram, which is definitely suspicious. After Hyo Ri started hosting the season's red carpet, IU hasn't appeared on it even once, and even though she had a comeback recently, appearing on Hyo Ri's show hasn't been on her schedule. This has made the original poster on Nate Pan suspect that they might have had a falling out at some point. Netizens have mixed feelings about this. To some, they were never actually that close. It's true that they filmed the show together, but their personalities don't really mesh well, so they might have just been colleagues. Another netizen pointed out how ridiculous it was to check up on these celebrities just so they could find clues on whether they were close to someone else or not. Others, however, thought that something fishy was definitely going on. On. To them, it was obvious that the two didn't get along, but even if they're not close, it's not that big of a deal. People grow apart all the time, and if their schedules don't match, it's even harder to keep in touch. Netizens should just leave the two alone and stop making assumptions. In other news, Lucas is actually coming back. Ever since SM Entertainment and Lucas confirmed that he would be starting a solo career after leaving NCT and Way V, fans have been waiting for updates regarding his career. Considering that Lucas left the group nearly a year ago, it has been way too long since we had any updates about it. However, recently it's been suspected that SM has been soft launching Lucas by letting him attend the concerts of his label mates. In January, Lucas attended Key's solo concert, sitting with Temin, Minho, and Taeyeon. He also attended Ten's Asia FanCon tour along with his fellow former band members, Jae Hyun, Johnny, and Mark. Lucas then left with the rest of the members, which proved to fans that we would be seeing him on stage anytime soon. Now we have actual proof. As you might know, there were some changes made on Twitter, making it possible for everyone to buy the blue check mark that used to to show an official account. However, everything got a bit confusing because it became difficult to differentiate between real celebrities and impersonators. To fix this and add even more security to official accounts, especially for celebs, Twitter added another feature in which accounts on Twitter could be affiliated with official organizations. For instance, if you look at the details of the official Twitter accounts of SM groups, it says that they're affiliated with SM Entertainment. So recently, people found an account with the username that had Lucas's name in it and a checkmark and was officially linked to SM. The account has over 170,000 followers already, so we can tell that people have been waiting for this for a long time. There were also some pictures taken of him in which he can be seen with long hair, and this has only raised more anticipation for his return. The context of the picture is unknown, though. Some said that he was filming in Budapest for his debut, others said that the picture was taken during his vacation in Taiwan. On top of that, on February 23rd, Lucas posted a photo from a photo shoot on his Instagram in which we can clearly see his long hair. He also tagged his new official account that will be used for his promotions, and SM updated the layout of his Twitter account. It looks like we can count on him returning anytime now. Of course, his fans are excited to see him come back so long after he went on hiatus. He's been consistently getting support from them, so we're sure that once his debut really happens, it will make some crazy numbers. They're still upset that SM Entertainment never made an official statement to prove his innocence and clear his reputation in the eyes of the public. On the other hand, there are some netizens that haven't gotten over his scandal and don't think he should be able to come back so easily. No matter how they feel, though, it won't change the fact that Lucas is not only coming back, but he's also going to be very successful when he does.